Dear Fally and your YouTube psychic. Card of the day. Readings. Unboxings. Your daily source for things arcane. Alright, so here we are. We are finally doing the readings for Jack the Ripper. Uh, this video has not turned out the way I wanted. And I am just simply over it. So, uh, maybe one day after I figure out what or who or what's wrong or what the f fudge. Um, maybe it's because I'm doing the editing on my iPhone instead of a computer, but I don't have a Mac computer, so I can't use iMovie on my home computer. Anyways, here is the video. I do need to give you a trigger warning. We are going to be talking about several murders and who may be responsible for them. Um, if that's something that will bother you, I do suggest that you skip this video. If not, enjoy! Alright, so what I was going for here is I was going to try to, um, you know, get it to where the uh, camera or the video would pan over all the cards, but couldn't seem to get it right. So, this first question is, is Jack responsible for the Canonical Five murders? And as you can see in the picture, we have four cards that are upright, which indicates that, yes, he is responsible for all five of the Canonical Five murders. And this next question is, uh, was Jack responsible for Martha Tabram's murder? And the quick answer to that one is, uh, the cards say yes. There are three up and two down. Now the question is, is Jack responsible for the murder of Alice McKenzie? And the answer to that question is yes. We have three up and two down. And this question was, is Jack responsible for Francis Cole's murder? And the answer to this one is no. We had three down and two up. Now comes the final question. So, as of, you know, today with our um, tarot card reading, who is Jack the Ripper? And, um, the reading came out fairly simple. Um, of course, it's just the five card spread where, um, you know, th three up of one means, or three of one means, three up means yes, three down means no. Um, so, as far as the cards were concerned, our serial killer wound up being George Chapman, and as you can not see because it's not doing what I want it to do, uh, there are three cards up, uh, four cards up actually. Um, we've got the hanged man in the first position. Uh, that is uh, him in his uh, you know current state of mind, current situation. Um, basically meaning that he was trapped or stuck on something that he couldn't get over in the past, most likely a domineering mother. The second card is the action that should have been taken, and it's the Queen of Cups, or the mastery of, um, you know, emotional support and or um, emotional well-being. The third card is the obstacle that he faced, and that was the chariot reversed, which means that uh, basically he felt like uh, his life was going nowhere and he was trapped. The next card is the um, 
Seven of Swords, I do believe. And um, this card, basically, if you look at it, it looks sort of like a uh, BDSM type thing. However, in the actual picture, the woman is not tied up, really. Uh, there's no knot on the rope. All she has to do is let go of the rope and, you know, remove the blindfold she can get out um, so what this means overall is that um, you're trapped in you know the trapped feeling and or the trapped sensation that you're getting is all in your head it's just something that you've made up or you've put yourself in all you have to do is realize it let go and uh, you can move forward and the last card, that is the effect. You know, it affects uh, the entire reading. It affects um, the situation. It affects, you know, something. Um, in this situation, the King of Cups, basically what it's saying to me is that instead of um, learning to control his emotions and master them, he was controlled by his emotions. All right, and my final thoughts, basically, I'm just going to do what I've done before as far as the um, readings go, just have the camera pointed at the cards and go. Um, because this did not turn out the way I wanted it to, I'm upset. Um, maybe one day I'll go over this and do it over again, but as of right now, I'm just over it. Um, <laughs> so, uh, next week we'll be taking a break from murder, suicide, you know, the whole horrible deal. And, um, since it is Pride Month, we'll just, you know, talk about random stuff like that. Um, you know, coming out and all that good stuff. So, um, I will talk to you all on Monday. Have a great day and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to my content and like this video. Want more? Feel free to order your own personal reading at www.tirthalian.com. That's T I R T H A L I O N.com. Don't forget to click the bell icon so that you're notified every time I upload a video.